Hello guys, CryptoGrounds here. Welcome back to an idle, another idle tutorial video. Uh, this is episode 20, and today we're going to be doing uh, prestige currency, or prestige stuff. So, specifically, we're going to do some prestige upgrades, because I feel like we're kind of lacking those. So, um, right now I'm in my upgrade screen. We are, so, we can keep this here. However, I want to add a prestige section. Now again, we're adding more buttons. Again, you probably shouldn't have these at the top because it kind of looks ugly, but we're gonna add another button anyways. So anyways, we're just gonna copy this upgrades button and we can do, move that here. And we're gonna do prestige, prestige button. So here we can just do prestige, even though we have our prestige button there prestige all right and then now we need a new main screen so I'm just going to copy the main screen that we already have where's the settings button okay I see and we're going to call this prestige screen okay so if we toggle off the main screen we are currently in our prestige screen so I'm going to get rid of this click button because we don't need that and we can get rid of full reset and we can get rid of the prestige, honestly, because this is just going to be dedicated to upgrades only. Now, this would be a really basic one because I'm basically just making more upgrades, but I'm just doing this because um, just to expand your game, I guess. So this can be our first upgrade. We can do, um, or do two. We'll do two, actually. We'll do three, okay? So this one will be click. And then we'll add... I like to just copy these ones because they're kind of in the position we want to be anyways. So this one will be our production. And this one will be the gems effect. So this one will be like gems are worth 10% more or something like that. Okay. So we're not going to, we can have a buy max, but I'm not going to do a buy max for this video because I'm sure you guys know how to implement this by now. And the progress bar, sure, we can keep. We can add a progress bar for each one of these. Why not? So I'm actually going to, yeah, we can keep these in here. We're going to progress bar, progress bar, progress bar. Now I can also just start renaming stuff in here. Like Bimax upgrade button and progress bar. Now, you don't have to do this, but I personally just want to keep it organized. So this will be BG, and this will be smooth. Now, what I'm going to do to kind of just, I don't want to rename everything at once. I'm just going to copy and paste this twice. Drag this one here, and then drag this one here. And we can get rid of the old ones. So this will, also, so this will now become production, and this one will become gems. And we need to rename some stuff. So this one will be uh, click is 50% more effective or 50% more powerful. Actually, I like effective. Effective or is better. You can rename however you want to. We're just making the upgrades. Or I'm just making the upgrades. <laughs> and this one will be you gain... 10% more coins per second. So basically all your production units are 10% better. Uh, we have our sweet progress bar. And then for gems, we're going to do this. Let's see, what's our current equation for gems boost? Okay, so yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll add on to this. Okay, so gems are plus... Zero one times faster, or not faster, better. Simple as that. Oh, we need the cost. We do need a cost though. So cost will be a hundred gems, and this one will be. And this one could be like ten gems. Cost ten gems, and remember the boost is based on your current gems. So if you want a if you want all your gems to be spendable, I can do that too. Or I can do that in a separate video. 
because I feel like that would be kind of on off topic. So if you want that, let me know in the comments below. And this one will be five gems. Cool. We have our UI done. Let's get rolling. So I know I like to make separate scripts, and we could make another one right now. But I'm just going to do this in the main script so you guys don't get lost. Actually, you know what? Let's create a new script. So we're going to copy this event manager and just delete this script. We're going to call this prestige manager. Now, you don't have to move all your old prestige stuff into here. This will be just like the prestige upgrade. So I'm going to call this one prestige. The script called prestige manager. Create and add. And let Unity do its thing, and we can open it right up. Cool. So we have a brand new script. Kind of organize some things a bit. So what do we have here? We have three buttons, three progress bars, and that should be pretty fairly easy. Also, I'm gonna do something in the main script real quick, just so we can use this progress bar. So make sure pay pay attention because this will mess up. Oh wait, no, we already have methods. Never mind. <laughs> uh, okay, so where is our fill? Big double fill. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm moving this to the methods. Oh my gosh, I'm getting a lot of notifications. Why? Okay, I'm moving this to the methods one because we want to use this wherever we want to. So I'm going to make this a static, private static method. Actually, we want this to be public so we can use it. And we'll go here. We're going to do methods dot big double fill. Methods big double fill. Cool. So we're going to use this for our upgrades. So let's have our, let's do our UI first. So three costs. So we're going to do public. I'm going to do an array this time. I'm going to do good management this time. Um, we're going to do cost text. And, and we're going to do public void start. Start. Um, P for prestige manager because so we're going to run this inside our tutorial game we're going to set cost text is equal to new text 3 actually no we don't want to do that right I forgot I talked about this in a different video no 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 we need to import the the unity engine UI namespace unity engine UI namespace correct the mundo cool so we can just predefine this if we want to, but if you want to add more text, you're going to have to do it in the editor. And make sure you do it in here too. So three. So we have three texts. We have three progress bars. We're going to do um, cost bars. We're going to change the type to image. Cool. What else do we have? I think that's it. Unless we have a level. I don't remember. I don't think we do. Nope, that's just it. Cool, cool, cool. So, I don't believe we need to start anything in here. Also, just, also, if you've seen this black, or this bar before, like this, to get rid of that, you just press the insert key. If you don't know how to do that already. So, let's have a, we're going to have a run method. Because we want to run this inside the, our main script. Because that's just how I like to organize things. I believe that's how we do it in here, too. We have a run method. Oh, no, we do update. Don't know what I was thinking there. But I like to run everything in, like, my main script. You don't have to. You can do update. But I like to be on sync and have things update certain times. So now for the cost hex, we're also, also, before I forget, we need to add a public game object. Actually, no, it's canvas. Public, canvas, prestige. Okay. So we're going to do if prestige dot game object dot set active true oh no it's active self <laughs> active self which is true we're gonna run the ui okay and in fact we can do public void ui we can do void ui in here cool so now for our cost text now this is gonna be our future player data stuff it's gonna be here we're gonna move this to the player data but we want to test this first to make sure it works this is good to do 
before you actually add it to your save system. So we're gonna do public big double costs equals new big double. And again, you can change the size of this if you want to. Actually, uh, okay. So this is what I do in my script. Public void start r. Or just start whatever. Just at least it's not start because that'll be your start method. After we load our data, we want to do this. So we're going to have... This might sound kind of ridiculous to do, but we can transfer this into a for loop if this makes sense. So I'll kind of show you that. So we're going to have cost 1. Now, you can label these however you want. For, for me, it's going to be cost 1, cost 2, cost 3. Okay? So you name it however you think it should be named. So we're going to have cost 1, cost 2, cost 3. And I'll show you why I'm doing this soon. And the reason why I'm actually doing this first of all is if we wanted to add a fourth class, we can't just change this to 4. We can't, I mean, we can change it in the game manager, but that just seems kind of weird to do that. So we'll just do it in here. So we'll just do cost equals new big double three. So we'll just change the size every time we load the game. So we can just actually shorten it to that. Um, okay. So then in here we can create a for loop. Int i equals zero. Int i, or we can do var. i is less than uh cost text dot count minus or length dot minus one i plus plus and then in here we can set cost text to we're gonna make a method for this we're gonna call it void assign text and we're doing quite a bit of stuff but we're gonna create another string we're gonna call or not another string we're gonna create a string array uh, cost descriptions equals new and actually I like I'm just gonna predefine this already so what I can do is cost desk equals new equals let's see we can have let's test this I don't know if this will work Okay, just like that. New array. Okay, so we'll just do this. So basically, we're creating a new array with predefined names or descriptions. So I'm going to copy all my previous descriptions that I wrote. So like, click is 50% more effective. Production. And actually, we can add a level too. Why not? Let's do that too. Okay, we have all of our descriptions. So this you can add on to it whenever you want to, just as long as you increase the length of the upgrades. So we're going to set cost i dot text equal to cost description i. We're also, actually, we should add levels. So we're going to add our levels too. And we need to add three more public big double level one. Now I don't know. I don't. Now I haven't really done the research to find a different way of doing this because I just really haven't thought about it in my free time. So if you're a better coder than me and you know a better way of doing this, please let me know so I can fix this in a future video and actually fix this and for my games because it's kind of a problem. Um, levels I. Okay, so we need to actually fix this. So we're going to add a dollar sign string. So we're going to do level levels i backslash n for new line. And we're going to do our description. Another backslash n. We're going to add another variable for costs at index i. Uh, we also want to add the cost. And then the, the name, the type, 
coins. Cool, that should be it. So instead of having three lines for all of our text, we can just do this now. This might seem a little bit like redundant in a way, but hopefully this will seem efficient in the long run, I guess. Again, if you know a better way of doing this, please let me know. <laughs> It's actually like one of my biggest fears is having to like find a solution to this. So we're going to create another public void. We're going to call this the array manager. And we can run this inside our uh, we assign text. So we honestly don't need this. We don't need assign text. So public void array manager. So basically we're going to make this, uh, we're going to do this. So, cost zero is going to equal, no, yeah, it's going to equal cost one, okay? Because remember, we're saving this stuff. We're not saving the arrays. So, future play dairy stuff, we can move that out. Um, two, three, one, two, and we can do the same thing for levels. Level one, level two, level three, and we can change that to levels. Cool. So now it should sync properly. Um, what else can we do? And we can honestly make these int, 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 int. Mm, we need to make levels equals new int uh, size three. Okay, don't forget that. Uh. I just flipped this array, so make sure if this is false, then we're just going to return it. And if we're not seeing it, we're just going to return it. What else do I need to do? I need to do the purchasing stuff. And honestly. Okay, let's do this. Um, so we have our cost bars. So our cost bars at index i dot fill amount is going to be equal to methods because it's static so we can use it anywhere we want to even if it's not in our main script or in this current script uh, big double fill is going to equal so what's we need to add our main script in here too public idle tutorial game game we can do game game dot data dot gems comma so that's our first variable. We're gonna do cost at index i, and we're gonna do our fill. So actually, we can just move this in here. And we need to add a ref because we are directly editing it. Get rid of the fill amounts. Ooh, what's wrong? Do we not have ref? Okay, never mind. No ref. Okay. Don't know why. But, uh, that should be it for this. Wait, I know we need to assign our costs somewhere, so let's do that real quick. So cost, so we actually don't need to save this. This is not savable either. So we're gonna set cost one equal to, so we have, let's see, let's look at our cost, five, 10, 100. So five, let's just get started here. Five, 10, what is it, 100? Yes, 100. And we can set these to private. So we don't need to access them outside of this class. We're going to set 5 equal to big double dot pow. Um, level 1. No, we're going to do, let's see, what's the cost multi? I think I'm going to do 1.25. Yeah, that sounds fair enough for me. Or 1.5 times. Now, I can easily do that for the rest. For gems, however, I'm going to make that higher. I'm going to make it 2.5 times. So basically, it's more than doubling every time we purchase it because it's kind of an OP upgrade. All right. So let's apply our boost real quick before we forget to do that. So at the top, we need to add... So actually, we are saving our levels so we can 
just move these to the player data. Let's add, I'm gonna do a region this time. Hashtag region, this will be our prestige. Hashtag end region. Okay, so we can open and close this whenever we don't wanna see it, which is nice. Uh, we need to give better names than this. So this will be prestige U level one. This will be three, this will be two. Now we need to go back to our prestige manager and rename them. So this will be, I'm gonna add a var right here. So I'm gonna do var game or var data equals game dot data. So then I can do data dot cost. Click upgrade one, get rid of that. And we'll do the same thing. We'll just change this to two and three. Oh, wrong. That's the wrong level. Right. <laughs> this is Prestige U level one. Three, two. Okay. And we're going to, have to do the same thing here. Except we need to do game.data one, Prestige level one. And this will be level two, level three. Now this is synced to our save system. So now we need to do a buy. Public void buy. And this will be int ID. So we're gonna switch ID. So at case one, I'm just gonna immediately break that. So we are going to add a public, we're gonna add a void. We're gonna change this to buy upgrade. I'm gonna make this public void buy. So we wanna do this just once. So what kind of stuff do we need? We need our, we need, so we don't need levels because we have an array. We don't need costs either. So what, we actually probably don't need this. So we can just simply do if um, game.data this point where he needs it more than twice, we do var data equals game dot data. Data, if data dot gems are greater than equal then cost at index ID, then we can subtract them. Cost ID, and we can do levels. Uh, so now, uh, this is the thing here. We actually, we are probably going to need this switch statement after all, because I don't want to change this levels because it's being synced right here. And this is only, we're only doing this for our UI. So we actually are going to have to do this switch statement after all. So let's just create a void by, and we're going to do int level. And this is going to be a ref. So then we can just do level plus plus. Invert that if statement. And now switch ID case one. This is just gonna be by level or data dot level prestige level one. And that's it. Oh, what happened here? Why did it do that? Cool, that's it. So now we just gotta copy pat copy and paste that for the rest. Two, three, two, and three. Here we go. We have our whole entire buy system right here. Pretty simple. We only need to input one variable. And now what's the nice thing is that we don't uh oh <laughs> I almost made a mistake again. So if data dot gems is greater than or equal than cost, so make sure it's not less than because that would that wouldn't make that would, that would cause a negative. Alright. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put this stuff in here. So since we have our we need to actually add our public prestige manager, prestige, and then start. We're gonna do prestige dot start r. Now we could have done start prestige. I think that's a more appropriate name for that. So let's change it, start prestige. And then in here, where do we run all our stuff? We're gonna do 
prestige dot run. Cool. That should be. Oh, we have to apply the boost, don't we? Yes, we do. Okay. So our first upgrade is click. Oops. Uh, fifty percent more effective. So that means every upgrade is going to add plus, or is going to be fifty percent more effective. So this is actually a pretty powerful upgrade if you think about it. It's doing fifty percent every upgrade. So if you have fifty percent, it'll do fifty percent of what it currently is. After that, it's not doing plus fifty percent. It's going to be times fifty percent. If that makes sense. So for click, let's see where is our click stuff. Where is our click upgrade? Right here. Coins click value. So we're going to find that. OK. So I'm going to make a new method for coins click value. OK. We're going to do public, public, big double, total click value. And we're basically going to return. We're going to make a big double. Or actually, we can just do var. Var temp equals data.coins click value. And we can do temp times equals events data boost. And then we can also do temp times equal. Now, where's our gems? Where's our gems even applied for this? Is gems even like applying to this at all. It honestly doesn't seem like it. So we're going to add gems to it because I think that's fair. We're going to do data.gems. We're also going to do temp times equals. So basically we're just multiplying it. So we're doing temp equals temp times that, if that makes sense. All right. It's kind of like the add the plus equals thing, except multiplying. So now here we're going to do, also we're going to return temp, by the way. Here we need to do prestige dot levels. Now this one I can use the right the array because we're not going to change it. So this will be the first index. So let's see, it's fifty percent. So we're going to do big double dot pow. Then we're going to do one point five for fifty percent to the power of our levels. So if we do this in the calculator. We do zero, the default is one, 1 1.5, 2.25, 3.35, and if you go to 30, yeah, it gets kind of crazy. <laughs> so that's why we have a really high cost mold. So if it's really cheap and we can buy those upgrades very easily, the game is just going to go pretty fast. <laughs> so actually, we can delete this pal. Cool. So we have a total click value. So we can add this to our click right here. That just shortens our code in general. So instead of having like a super long line, we can have just uh, a lengthy method instead, which will be better once you have tons of stuff that are boosting stuff. Like mine for crypto clickers is at least maybe a hundred lines because I got a lot of stuff going on in there. And a lot of it is like if statements for like, if I'm in a challenge, don't do this and stuff like that. Um, so we're going to replace all of our coins click value with this. Where else are we doing this? Oh, uh, yeah, so this is fine. So basically our coins click value is technically our base value instead now. So if we up, so we're basically upgrading the base. So we don't need to, re so don't replace everything here, okay? Don't replace that because we still need to upgrade because we can't just do, can't just do that. That just doesn't work, right? So keep your coins click value for your upgrades. All right. I think we're good. So as long as the UI and the actual click method is applying this, then we're good. So now let's take a look at our per second. So let's bring this to a method now. Okay. So we're going to go to our click. Where's our click? We're going to do public void total coins per second.
cool. So we have this right now, but we're going to change this. We're going to do var temp. And before I continue this, let's search for our coins per second. Are we adding on to it? Yes, we are. So this is technically our base. So that's kind of weird because our production upgrade doesn't really work that way because we're setting it equal to this every time, right? So that just kind of, that's just like a broken concept. So let's go back. Because we're adding on to level already. So I feel like we should just get rid of this coins per second variable. Because so we see we're adding it to our production, but that's already being changed somewhere else. So we're just going to get rid of all this. And honestly, let's go to the top. We can get rid of our coins per second. And we'll keep our coins click value because this is our base. So we can rename it if you want to. But I'm just going to keep it as is. Um, so temp is going to be equal to... See, we need a big double. So we got nothing. So we're just going to set it equal to zero. Big double. We're actually going to set it equal to this level. So that's our first thing. So let's see. And now, this is a little weird, I guess. Why is per coins per second still existing? Didn't I delete that? Oh, no, I didn't delete it up here. <laughs> okay, so ignore all the red for now. We will we'll get there. Uh, so we can do this. We're going to do temp plus equals data dot product production one upgrade one level. Okay. And then we can do temp plus equals this right here. Okay. And then we can do temp times equals because we're multiplying here data dot gem boost we're basically just doing this exact same thing as down here so we can just literally just copy this oh so this is gems this should be gems boost or gem boost gem boost so make sure it's you're multiplying by gem boost and temp times equal or else that if you're multiplying by gems itself that's like so let's see, we're doing 0 0.05 per gem. That's like a lot more <laughs> than it should be. That's like 20 times more of a boost. And yeah, <laughs> so make sure you pay close attention to that. And we will add our event token boost. I'm going to switch these around. And now I'm just going to copy and paste this here. We're going to return temp. So how this works... Let's see, what are we doing in our upgrades? I think we're doing 10%. So you're getting 10% more coins per second. So we're going to do 1.1 for 10%. And we're going to do the same equation. It's not additive. It's going to be multiplicative. And we're going to return temp. Oh, this should not be a void. This should be a big double. Remember that. And this can be made private. This can be made private as well. And now let's go fix all of our red. So we can get rid of this because we have our upgrade 1 already. That just makes no sense. And now for here, replace this with that. Now for red right here, our coins per second is just calling the method. And that is there. That's a lot better. <laughs> we can do a lot more managing with our methods here. And it's pretty nice to look at too. Instead of looking at a lot of like random parentheses and making it look really confusing. You can be like, oh, okay, it's adding that, then adding that, then multiplying that, then multiplying that. It's a lot easier. Cool. So last thing, gems boost. So we'll probably have to do the same thing here. So let's go to gem boost. Where is gem boost? Where is that? Where is it? Okay, I see that here. So here just for the sakes of it, just for the sake of it, we're going to go down here again. We're going to do public void, or we're going to do public big double, uh, total gem boost. We're going to do big double, temp, equals zero, return, temp, no. It's a really useless call, but we'll get there. So we are going to make it equal one. Hmm. I think we're going to do temp plus one here. So basically, we'll just set data.gems as the boost. And then we'll do temp times equals 0 0.05 
plus right here. We're going to do prestige. Oh, so make sure you do this. I forgot to change this index to 0 to 1, so make sure you change that. And we're going to do 0 0.05 plus the second level, because we're doing, oh, right. So here, we're going to multiply this by 0 0.01, because we are adding 0 0.01 per level. All right? So now, it's as, we're saying we don't need these parentheses, so you can just delete these. So this will do. You could do var here, and this should work. So we can get rid of that. Uh, so we're basically just reducing the amount of variables we need to save, which is nice. We don't even need to save some of these, like the costs. So we can get rid of that. See what else could get rid of. Okay, so here now, we can just replace this with total gem boost. Total gem boost. And replace these. Cool. All right. So this looks like we're multiplying some other stuff. What are we doing here? So here we need, so this is where it kind of gets a little messy. So I'm going to make another variable, another one. Because it seems like we like to kind of do some extra stuff. So I'm going to do public void, or another big double. So this is our last one, our total boost. So basically, we're going to do big double temp equals total gem boost. Uh, this would be total boost, not bossed. And this can also be made private. This can be made private too. Total gem boost. And then we're going to multiply temp by event token. And then we're just going to return total boost. Cool. This is going to be made var. Uh, no, we're going to return temp. My apologies. We're going to return temp. Now a total boost, we can replace these with that. Replace these with that. And then we're just going to have to leave our levels here. Now we could do a total click, uh, total click boost or a total production boost. But um, we're just going to leave it as that. And then we're going to take this right here because we're going to need it up here. And so we have our total gem boost. We're going to change that to total boost and replace this multiplication here with this right here. Now if you want to add a production boost you, with this right here you can add it if you want to. However this is just slightly cleaned up. Not too much but it'll do. So yeah you can do whatever you want for that. Alright. So now gem boost we need to get Total gem boost. And that's it. We are good. Let's check. Do we have any errors anywhere? Doesn't look like it. Cool. Now, I believe this is it. It should save everything properly. Yeah. Let's give it a shot. So this is kind of a longer video than I expected. But hopefully this will go well. Okay. So in here, we need to drag our new manager. And our prestige manager, we need to drag the game manager and our prestige screen. So now we have a bunch of stuff here. So again, in order to change the size, you literally just go, if you want more images, you literally just type in four. So our cost text is zero, even though it should be three. So we just change that zero to a three. And now we can drag three text. So we'll do text one, text two, and text three. This is my order. You can do it however you like, but make sure it matches your script. Okay? Because remember, I'm doing one, two, three. Okay? And now for our progress bars. Now, let's see. Do we do... Okay. I forgot. We have a smooth progress bar, right? Yeah, we have a smooth progress bar. So we got to go back to our main script and add that smooth progress bar. Image, cost bars, smooth. So let's see. 
So we're going to add, okay, so this smooth number, we're going to add this to our, our methods as well. So we're going to do private static void. Actually, we're going to make this public because we still want to be able to access it, right? And now we can do methods.smooth number. Cool. So let's copy this here because we're going to need to do the exact same thing. So we're going to do methods.smooth number. So we need a temp for our, our gems. So our actual is going to be uh, game.data.gems. Okay, and now we're going to make a variable. We can get rid of this comment right here. Public big double gems temp. And again, this is only for the smooth, so if you don't want to do this, then you can just ignore this step. All right. And then now we need to add another one of these. So we'll do gems temp in here. And for our progress bars, we will do smooth. Perfect. This should be good now. Okay, so we can go to Prestige Manager, go to Bar Smooth, and there we go. So now our first one will be the regular progress bar, and then our smooth will be labeled smooth. Okay, so now we didn't need to apply the buttons. So I'm going to grab one, two, three. Go to Prestige Manager, drag it to the button component, and we're going to set them all to buy upgrade. So now uh, we need to make sure we do this properly. So we have one, two, and three. All right? Does that sound right? Or is it zero, one, two, three? Is it zero, one, two? I believe it's zero, one, two. So zero, one, two, because arrays are zero index based, which sucks. Literally sucks. So if our click one will be zero. Our production will be one, and our gems will be two. And let's cross our fingers we won't get errors on start. Let's check every single script to make sure we are good to go. Cool. We should be good to go. Make this bigger. Okay. So... Okay, we still got to make the navigation for the prestige screen. So we're going to go toggle our grades. Where is that? Okay, so we need to make our change tabs real quick. Uh, shoot, where is our screen? Ah, uh, shoot, it's all the way in there. Okay, so we're going to do prestige.prestige, .prestige, even though it should be prestige group. Okay. So we're just going to leave that out as is, as is. We're going to add another one of these. Oh, we already did that. Prestige. We're going to do prestige.prestige. .prestige. There we go. That should be good to go. Do we have any other starts? Yes, we do. We're going to do prestige.prestige. .prestige. We should be good to go now. <laughs> Come on. Cool. And then we got our upgrades here. All right, let's go to our prestige. Why is it not working? Did we forget to? Yes, we forgot to change the label, so we'll do that in here. But we gotta make sure we gotta do that outside. So prestige, we have our prestige, but we only have one progress bar that's working, and we don't have any gems. Yikes. Oh, we got negative gems. Not good. Not good. So make sure you change this button to prestige. Okay. What's going on here? I thought this wouldn't work. It let me down. So I think it's something to do with the UI. Well, what's why is it why is it going negative? Oh, prestige manager. Okay. So if data.gems is greater or equal than cost, so I think our issue is that we don't have any cost. It's all zero for some reason, but it's not updating. So let's go back in here. We're going to check out our costs, see what they are. So we have five. Yeah, it looks like we have our 
correct costs. Our levels are zero, zero, zero. Okay, so it looks like it's correct. The costs, okay. Yeah, that's not good. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Yeah. <laughs> We're gonna go negative. Yikes. Okay. <laughs> and if this messed up your game, just make sure you just reset in the inspector. Or you can do a full reset. Why is this not working? I don't know. Okay. I see why. Stupid me forgot to tell you guys that <laughs> we forgot to invert I forgot that I inverse this. So that's there's lots of confusion when you do this. So it's actually if data gems is less than cost, then we're just gonna return it. So make sure this is left less than. Now the other thing is the progress bars are not working. So let's check this out. So we have our cost bars I. <sighs> okay. I think we really need to add a ref to this. I really think that's it. I don't know. I don't know why. I'm just thinking that's it. So let's add a ref to all the proper stuff. I'm going to try it. I don't know why it's not working now. I know the other two were setting. It was just the third one wasn't for some strange reason. Okay, it's still doing it. Okay, so we can't buy anymore. That's good. So what if we change upgrade? So it looks like none of the third UI is actually updating. So if we change that. Uh, okay, I see. It's because we're not changing the right stuff. We got to change it all in here. <laughs> all right, let's try it. Yeah, see, that changes it. We need to apply our notation as well. So our upgrade isn't, our third upgrade isn't even like trying to reach it. Don't know why, but it's buying. So if we like go here, actually we can't because we don't have enough gems. So let's go positive. Okay, so let's see those work. Yeah, see that works. Okay, so it's being set to the first one. That doesn't make any sense. Okay. <laughs> so why is... Okay, so... Oh. Wait a minute. That doesn't make any sense. This is the right stuff. Why is it not working? <sighs> okay, so my guess is that we actually really don't have to do this minus one. That's my guess. Hopefully... Because I thought length was already minus one. Or I thought length, so if length, if we have an index, or if we have an array size three, I thought the length would be three, not two. I don't know. That's that's a little weird. But if that's the case, then we're going to get errors. Huh. Weird. <laughs> well, we have our upgrade here. That's really weird. I... I don't know. I'm s I am learned arrays originally from Java. So Java is a little different this, in the array situation here. So yeah, that works. That's a pretty dang big boost. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, our click is much better. Why is our click... Oh, the click is so good because of this upgrade. <laughs> well, then... That means we're going to have to nerf, which I'm not going to do in this video. Um, so let's apply the notations real quick, and then we will call it a day. So basically, we just do game.data. No, not game, just game.notation uh, method. And that should work. Oh, we also need to apply the F2, because we want two decimals. Alright, anyways, that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did and you're new, make sure you like my video and subscribe and turn on the bell for future notifications. Anyways, guys, thank you for watching. Peace.